Hi and welcome back to Lambretta Lutz. Today I want to show you a little bit more about the barrel that I got now, the 250 Tor from Polini, comprehensive to the 303. I just have the ceiling kit for this, uh, the gasket kit for it. Making some weight control and even from the intact area and also from the crankshaft in this killer case uh, billet one fully machined. So first thing, the piston has a bore of 72. So if you see it <clears throat> in comprehensive to the 76, that uh, the Tor 303 has. So we're talking just about this two millimeters of more bore. <clears throat> but for this, you have to change to a Conrode with 80 millimeters of uh, small pin. You need uh, um, also a different head. You have more cost for the barrel and for the head. And um, so therefore, it is not really necessary, I think, for to go for the 303. So <clears throat> the weight, and that is maybe interesting from the piston, it feels quite heavy for 72 millimeters and it is produced by Vertex. So it has a weight from over 250 grams. So, if you see a monster barrel for a monster barrel, so that is 27 less. Here, uh, old MB for TS1 is 12 less, or even an old school standard TS1 that has 23 more. So, considering that, the weight factor for the balance factor for the different kind of crankshafts can be similar. I make some calculations. So the difference is between uh, 38 to 42. So it's still in a range where you can expect a quite smooth ride, but uh, to make it perfect, well, it is um, always extra additional work of um, balancing. So, from the pin is also interesting if you can see the pin is shorter three millimeters so you cannot just uh, changing the pin and to give you a idea what is the weight there so this pin has more than 53 and <coughs> this one has um, Five less and this has just four left so if you want to consider to have a lighter one and then shortcut and everything well it's not longer plug and play also interesting is maybe when the head is coming so the thermostat is um, original Piaggio part and the connection can be considered as an ordinary part, uh, Piaggio part as well, and they are much cheaper than that you get from Polini. So that from the uh, situation of the barrel, maybe, and I'm not even put it out because it is quite similar. So the exo gasset is the same like for the 303. And when you see the dimension from the outside, from the 303 and from the 250, is completely equal. Yeah. So I can maybe show you here as well. So that is not where the power is coming from, not only from the ball. So, and the gasket from the x -horse. here is a suit for TS1. x has to be adapted a little bit, 
Or you get a different one, like uh, maybe for a Simonini kit. So, what else I have? This is a, is a, a 62 millimeters, 116 millimeter Conrad from Zip. And this is a BGM that was original with just a 110 Conrad, and uh, I put a 115 into it. But you can buy it like this from Scooter Center directly as well. So, two completely standard, not change of Conrad um, crankshafts. So, and now the different options of intakes for this. So I show you in an earlier movie video um, here, the Tassinat will fit, but you have to make some ad uh, uh, adaptation. The old school tier is one fitting and using the whole space and even the holes are exactly the same. Actually interesting is the modern uh, and good working Monster one and for Quadrini M210, they have the same size, so they are completely equal from the size. So, <coughs> therefore, sorry, to make an adaptation for this, and they are in a um, to buy quite expensive. I considering maybe to take just a normal TS1 here from the BFR just to see. So that would be still possible to to put into it, but a lot of machine work and not so much material will be left. Well, um, I actually look for it because they are really nice machined intake many floors. But unfortunately, as I said, it will not fit. So therefore, you have to find another solution. So, and a little bit surprisingly, this Polini, I believe it is even for the store kit, that doesn't need so much machine work and uh, could be sued into it as well. So if somebody want to have a six read intake main floor, that maybe can be an option. So it's actually this one here. So, but for keeping all easier plug and play, maybe for the one who has a TS1, I will go for the TS1, making a stuffer, making then an intake inflow that still um, I have to, for the many flow, I have to make a solution. And uh, well, now all the parts are shown and now I will make uh, a short plug and play, dry build. So that is now the installation with um, 62 millimeters zip crankshaft. So that is a uh, upper death point. And to show you how is it in a in below point, you see the 62 on the 60 millimeters would work perfectly. And um, also on the top end, you saw there is uh, a lot of space for the um, for the situation if you put the gasket on it and then the head the side squeeze will be from the clearance completely enough so uh, we'll change now to the 60 millimeters with 115 convert So, and that is now the situation with uh, 60 millimeters and 150 Conrad from the BGM crankshaft. So, as expected, there is more clearance. And uh, when we go to the below death point, 
there is enough clearance as well. So why the idea of now 60 millimeters when the 62 seems to be work very well? So first, the barrel is considered for uh, 60 millimeters. So the um, timings of the transfers and of the exhaust are a little bit better. So it's um, 20, uh, 127 to um, 182. So that is uh, quite good for an uh, engine that r runs in the peak of 7,500 revs. And uh, the other advantage would be you, I could uh, machine one millimeter off of the base, but keep then the central bore um, he, here at the basement. Wait, I'll show you. So <clears throat> that is a free, oh, free. So keep a little of this two millimeters around. Then when I get one millimeter off, so I have a center. I automatically center the barrel. Well, with the 62, it's more plug and play, but you still need then something to distance so that the barrel is in the a, in a middle. With uh, 60 and 150, you may have the chance by machining it and having then a small center ring directly in the barrel. That makes things easier. Both will be work working. So one thing I want to show you as well, so you still have to consider this kind of um, changing, sorry, this kind of changing from the studs. So, well, as uh, other are doing just with GD Weld, doing filling this um, holes with the alu thread uh, screw, with GD Weld and making the next holes. And then even if you want to switch back to a Simonini, you can drill out this and filling this one. And you have the chain from the 80 millimeters to 70 millimeters. Well, so far today from all this technical information regarding the Tor project, Please uh, subscribe and uh, comment. I will let you know when the steps get further and the head is here to make a further drive. Thank you for joining.